Hello, I'm Jeremy Elwood, Golf Monthly's Equipment Editor. Welcome to my online video blog. You'll see on the screen here and on the page in front of me, Nike's new Black Satin SV Tour Wedge. This club is going in the September issue of the magazine. It's just come back from the photographers, but we need to go and have a close look at it before taking it out to test. Let's go down to the gear vault. We've got Nike's new Black Satin SV Tour wedge here. Last year they had a satin version of this wedge which performed so well that even Tiger put one in his bag. Let's see if this new model performs just as well. I've come down to Crowborough Beacon Golf Club in East Sussex along with my colleague from the magazine Neil Tappin. Hi. Neil's our instruction editor and we've both come to give this new Nike SV Tour Black Satin wedge a good test. We've both been giving this club quite a thorough testing now, both from bunkers and from the rough just behind bunkers trying to lob it over. It's a 60 degree model which I don't normally use, but I found I was able to hit some really soft landing shots on quite a tricky chip that we were trying. I don't know how you got on with it, Neil. Well, I think Nike have done a, a pretty good job with this. They've, they've used their tour staff well here. They've, the tour staff have come up with a shape of wedge, a look that they like, and it's very versatile. I think the way that the, um, the sole is ground, it means you can play lots of different types of shots around the greens, from the bunker, from the rough, and you can still get a soft feel. It's made from very soft metal, and, and the feel that you get, it really helps you get the ball close to the flag from quite tight in. So the delicate shots, it really helps. What did yeah, you think? Yeah, and I think the versatility you mentioned there, you know, tour pros are after versatility, but we're all after that. So just because this club's been designed by tour pros doesn't mean it's only usable by them. It gives us all the versatility we all need for all those variety of situations we tend to leave ourselves in on the course. Now Jez, at 79 quid, does that represent decent value for money? Well it's a tenner more than the original satin wedge was last year, but personally I think that's still good value for what is in fact a premium wedge used by a lot of players out on tour. You can read a lot more about this wedge in the next issue of Golf Monthly, the September issue, on sale soon. Uh, along with a host of other golf equipment and you can find out more about another particular piece of kit in our next video online blog next week. Uh, thank you for joining us, thank you Neil for joining us. No problem. And we look forward to seeing you again next time. Goodbye. Every year, more and more tour players are winning with it. The re-engineered Nike One Ball.